Uh, you told me a little bit about going to the Arctic. Uh, tell me that story. Yeah, you know, right now I'm, I'm working with uh, one of my friends. He put his company together. It's called Prestige Athletics and Learning. And what it is is that we go out to schools. Um, I actually went out to Tuk Tuk Tuk. It's way north in the <laughs> Arctic, man. I tell you, it's cold. I thought Edmonton was cold until I went out here. And, uh, you know, what we do is we go to schools and we talk to them about, you know, the kids that are in gangs, that are doing drugs, drinking, not going to school. And um, we just go there and we just give them like an eye opener, right? Like for myself, um, you know, I, I've been, you know, known gangs and, you know, s drugs and all that, all that stuff in that lifestyle. And, you know, for a kid to hear it from me and to see what I've accomplished in my life to this date, you know, uh, he can look up to that and see, hey, you know, I don't have to do this to be well known or for people to know me. You know, I can play football, I can play hockey, I can play soccer. Because what some kids will do is, you know, they'll get these speakers in to come talk to them and they've never been near gangs, they've never sold drugs, they've never done any of this. So these kids look at them like, well, what are you telling me? You've never even done it before, right? So at least I can give them my story and let them know what I've been through in my life to maybe help them change their life, right? If it's not, you know, I can't change 100 people, right? But if I could change one out of that 100, you know, that's good. In your mind, what was the turning point from you, for you when you went from, hey, um, going from the dark side, like you told me about, to going and uh, focusing your life and becoming a mixed martial arts fighter? Um, you know, it, it changed. I just changed a lot from, you know, associating with the wrong people. Now, you know, I, I got a lot of benefits and there's, you know, I have a little analyst of costs and benefits, right? And I always think if I'm going to do something stupid, I just weigh it out, right? If What's it going to cost me and what are my benefits, right? And usually the costs outweigh the benefits. So, you know, now I got a beautiful family, you know, I'm still real close with my mom, my brothers, my sisters, my dad, and, you know, everybody like that. So, you know, I, I don't want to lose that again. So, I'm just going to stay on this track, continue fighting, and, you know, one day be the world's best. Right. Uh, tell me how your life has changed uh, now that you're a family man. I remember being there at one of the fight events when you, uh, when you proposed uh, to Nina, and uh, that was great. And you just did it right, right at the fights, right at the post-fight uh, press conference, and now you're a father. Uh, how has that changed you? Oh, you know, it's, you know, maybe brought out a little softer side of me now because I got a baby girl. Her name is Bella. Um, you know, it's every morning I wake up and it's just, I have a smile on my face because she's there making her noises and, you know, she's starting to goo goo and gaga and all that stuff now. So, you know, it's, you know, every day I wake up to live for her and my family and, you know, that's why I'm in the gym every day training hard so that I can provide for them for the rest of my life. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, your future. I mean, you mentioned being a world champion. If you have a goal in mind, what is your goal? How far do you want to go in the sport of mixed martial arts? Uh, I'm in this sport to be the best in the world, number one, pound for pound, right? Uh, I've been in this sport for a year and nine months now, and, you know, I have climbed the ladder pretty fast. And, uh, you know, my goal is to be, um, you know, obviously, uh, whatever organization I'm in right now, the champion. And the, my biggest goal is to be UFC champion one day. So I just know i got to keep the dedication and hard work up in the gym, and it'll come. You are